All right. I have a beauty confession for you. I purchase a lot of stuff 100% because of the packaging. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is what happens. This is the, like, ooh, that's pretty. Maybe I should own that just to look at. So, this is the shit that I've bought only because of the packaging. So, I wanted to share that with you. Okay. I've got a bin here. I recently just bought this. And this was the Benefit Real Cheeky Party. Now, yeah, does it have, like, a good collection of stuff in it? Yeah, it really does. Like, that's one of the reasons I bought it. But the main reason I bought it is because it comes in this cute little tin. And even though this, like, makes no sense in terms of storage or, like, anything else, like this gigantic tin that will probably just be, like, a background piece. My toothpaste, my toothpaste, everything nice palette. Like, let's be real. But... It does have some product in it too, but I mean, let's be real. It was so cute and I like the polka dots and that's why, really the main reason why I got bought. Um, speaking of tin packaging, how about the Too Faced little tin palettes that have like, what, just a few eyeshadows in them? Um... Let's be honest, I don't really love the quality of these shadows. Um, I mean, they're not awful, but they're just not my favorite. But I like displaying these because they're so cute. And that's why you got bought, because you were precious. And now I own you. Now you live with me. You live here. Um, how about anything that the balm sells like congratulations balm cosmetics i've bought all of the stuff that i bought for you because of what your packaging looks like because it's so damn cute balm jovi how can you resist smoke balm this tiny little baby palette I picked up at Ulta. No, that's a lie. I picked up at Kohl's. Aw, a little fresh, fresh. Have I used it? No. But it's precious, and I like it because it looks vintagey, and that appeals to me. How about these Instain blushes that I really felt like I had to have, and that I really find myself, um, never reaching for but do you know why I bought them because they're freaking cute because they look like tiny little <laughs> they look like tiny little magazines and then they have like cute cute designs in them like this one is what are you all for this blush twall why because it's got that cute little design in it and it's precious and that's why I own you my little friends and then you can like even set them up like little baby books and they show the shade on the side of them the shade name I mean couldn't couldn't be any cuter the balm oh there there's this guy too auto balm palette it looks like a license. How cute. Had to have that. Had to have that. Next. Um, back to Too Faced. How about all of your heart blushes? How about they look like a little box of candy and they're precious? Like, how about I own all three shades? Because that's necessary. Um, I actually do use these though and I really like them. Um, this is Peach Beach. This is one of my faves. They're really cute. Um, they have some sparkle to them, which I don't care, you know, that doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, you got, you got bought because of how, how freaking cute you looked. So, there's that. Um, 
How about anything that Mac collection comes out? Like any collections from Mac? Like let's go over these. Uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah, you you have three three red lipsticks. I bought all of them because of this. That right there. That the picture on there. So queer. Um, how about this? What was this? Last year's Christmas keepsake plum eye. Uh, what's that? Never even been used. Oh, but it's got a cute little cameo on the front and it's sparkly and it's got pearls around it. Precious. Um, how about this? How about this for you? I don't even want to talk about what I spent on this because this was obscene. How about, oh cute Mac, your little marine life because you have a seahorse on it. And the seahorse used to have like a gold dust over it and I didn't want to use this for the longest time because then the dust would be gone and I still almost don't want to use it because then the seahorse will be gone and then it will make me sad. How about this? How about, um, Nuance Lip Quad? How about, uh, this is the Salma Hayek Beauty brand, I do believe. Um, thought it was adorable. I mean, look, it opens up like this, like a cute little thing. It's got a sweet little brush in the middle. Problem is, I don't really like lipsticks that come in this format. I don't care to brush my lipstick on my mouth. Um, <clears throat> I barely do a good enough job with lipstick in a tube, so a brush isn't going to really, like, fill my fancy. And I've used it, like, once. So... That's something. Um, how about EOS? I have to own all of them because I have to have every color and because they're cute and round and sweet and precious and... I mean... I own you because you look like an egg and I like it. And, I mean, there is a bonus to the shape of it because they're super easy to find, like, in the bottom of a purse, but... I mean, let's be real, like, I'm buying you more for your package than I am for what's on the inside, which is mean of me. Um, okay, how about this? <laughs> Tarina Tarantino? What? What? Sparkle City Shimmer Dust. Why did I buy this, you say? Totes obvi. I bought it because it's cute. It looks like a perfume spray, and it sprays out shimmer, which is in no way, like, no way is it even practical to just, like, spray an amount of shimmer on your face. Like, I guess it would be really good for, like, I don't know, a middle school dance or something where I, like, cover my decolletage and freaking glitter, but I'm 32, and... I'm not doing that, but this also you look like cute in the background, and that's why I own you. Um, oh, I have two brushes actually. And first of all, I actually do use and love both of these brushes, but you came into my world because of the way you looked. I guess I'm just really shallow like that. Um, besame, besame mucho. Do I need a powder brush like this? No. Does it make me feel fancy when it sits in front of me? Yes, bought it. It Cosmetics. Love is the foundation. You are a heart-shaped brush. You have a pretty pink handle. You are limited edition and I needed to have you in my life. And actually, I used this um, doing my foundation. Like, I really like using a beauty blender normally, but this actually worked really well. I was in the car and obviously didn't have access to water, so I used this instead of my blender, and I really like it. But again, you only came here because of what you looked like. Um, okay, 
my couture. <laughs> These are all still in the package. And I do own this in another thing that I've opened, but let's talk about this. Um, these are papers with makeup on it. It's like a little book and it has makeup on it on these little pieces of paper. And let me tell you, these have like a really great purpose. You talk about makeup on the go, like you can't get any more portable than a little book that has, you know, makeup on it. And you legit just rub that right on your face. I mean, I usually like tear the sheet in half because I don't want to go through it because it's so cute. <laughs> it says tear one sheet and gently rub colored side of the paper, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's precious and adorable and I have it in blush. I have it in a highlight and two blushes and then I have it in a bronze highlight and brush blush trio. Does it work? Yes. Is it good to have and convenient? Yes. Was it just bought because of how like novelty it was? Yes. Um, all the Louboutin lipsticks. All the Louboutin lipsticks. I apologize if you know how much this is and look at how cute they are like super duper cute and not only are they cute and you can't like really tell obviously without holding them but they are weighty as shit you could literally stab somebody with this like I wanted to take this on my vacation to New York and didn't think that TSA would let me through so I left it home um are they beautiful? Is the formula amazing? Yes. Why did I pay so much for them? Mm, because of the packaging. Because it's super cute. Let's just leave that right there. Because I've got another lipstick. <sighs> Guerlain! Guerlain, Guerlain. Guerlain, why do you do this to me? Because I let you. Guerlain, Greta, number 22. Behold. Ooh, it opens up and it's a mirror and it's so cute. And also nice and weighty. It's silver. It's pretty. It is purchased because it was pretty. And that's why you live here with me now in my little home of make believe. Um, yeah. Here we go again. Clinique with your little cheek pop blush pop. Okay, so this is Cola Pop. I am actually wearing this today. First time I've ever worn it. I know, that makes me a terrible person. I'm trying to like itch my lip with my lip, if, which is if you're wondering why I'm doing that. Um, but let's be real, it has a daisy on it and how cute is that? And that's why you came home with me. 100%. I mean, I like the color too. Abby, but let's be real. Um, Pure Minerals, you did it to me too. This was more of like a shade thing for me. This is like this holographic, super cool looking, I mean, just really neat lip gloss. Um, this is in the the Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss and Hypnotist. If you can see like all the different colors, you really can't see any of that on your mouth though. I mean, let's be like totally real. I bought this 100% because I was like, ooh, so many colors. And it really doesn't translate that well. Like when you put it on your mouth. Not that I'm disappointed. I mean, it's still a pretty gloss, but I don't know, like rainbows and unicorns is kind of what I was feeling. I don't know. Um, last but not least, this is something that I just got in. This is kind of like what prompted this whole idea about doing this video because I'm like, I just bought a palette from 
a brand that I've never heard of. The colors are nice, but I don't die over them. And I bought it just because it has bees on it. Now, oh, apparently one of these are for your cheeks. That's nice to know. So anyway, this is Chantakai, Chantakale. You can read that to yourself and decide how you want to say that. This is the Save the Bees palette. And I guess I'm saving bees by buying it. So it's a humanitarian type of thing. Um, this is what the outside of it looks like. <laughs> so cute. And this is what the inside of it looks like. Even cuter. Could you not? And this is kind of like what that marine life, that seahorse thing that I bought. I'm assuming that this is the cheek color. It had this like gold dust over the raised part of it, which will go away like the first time you use it, unless you're really careful and you use it on the, you know, edges of the color. I mean, I'm not, I don't hate these colors, but I mean, I didn't buy it for the colors. I bought it for the packaging and it's so cute. So <laughs> that's that. I mean, do I have more stuff? Yeah, but I figured we can do a part two to this because I'm sure that what has gotten me before will get me again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment below what you've bought just for the packaging. I mean, like, let's be real. And I hate it too because I tend to use these products less because I love how they look so much. So I'm like afraid to go through. I mean, it's just the weirdest thing. Um, shh. It's raining outside and my dog wants to go out so she can ruin my whole house, but I'm not letting her. Before I go, I just wanted to mention what was on my nails. Um, this is Zoya Giovanna, which is the green. And then I did the champagne crushed glass, just loose glitter on my ring finger. I picked this up from Hobby Lobby in the craft section. Um, it's really cool. broke it. Um, and then on my eyes, I just did like a bunch of different Makeup Geek shades. I used some of these like neutrally pink shades and then deepened it up with these berry tones. Did that and then I have ColourPop's Tootsie on my lips. So that is that. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you later. Bye.